morning mga kapatid. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion. So today, this is the seventh day of our spiritual journey through the purpose-driven life written by Pastor Rick Warren. So, kumusta naman ang yung spiritual journey with the Lord? Uh, I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay na bless for the previous uh, six days of our journey with the Lord. And I do believe by faith na sa mga oras na ito ay handa muli ang yung mga puso para tanggapin ang salita ng Panginoon na may kagalakan at kapayapaan sa ating puso. Did you know na uh, mayroong mga bagay sa ating uh, buhay na hindi natin makakalimutan? There are times na even the, the little uh, ways na nangyari sa buhay natin nagkaroon ng isang uh, kumbaga isang alaala na hindi natin makakaliputan pero the good news is whether that uh, memories is bad or good ang importante nag-grow tayo through that Uh, memories, bad or good. Because alam po natin, everything happened in our lives, there's a divine purpose. At saka alam nyo ba na ang buhay natin, why we are here on earth, kagaya yung mga napag-aralan uh, natin with the previous uh, chapters or lessons from the spiritual journey with the purpose-driven life, di po ba, It, our buhay natin, it all starts with God. And second, we, we are not an accident. Totoo naman, di po ba? Lahat ng mga nangyari sa buhay natin, and even our uh, our own whole being, talagang we are being uh, created by the image of God and with a divine purpose. And third, what drives your life? So, ano nga ba yung nagmamanipulate o ano nga ba yung nangunguna sa buhay mo? What drives your life? Ano uh, or kumbaga ano yung uh, nagbibigay sa iyo ng inspiration na patuloy kang uh, namumuhay dito sa mundong ibabaw? And first, what we are made to last forever. So, ang gusto ng Panginoon, uh, we are here only on earth as a temporary uh Uh, resident here on earth kasi ang citizenship natin ay nasa langit. And fifth, seeing life from God's view. So, ano yung uh, perspective natin spiritually that our life through based doon sa uh, layunin at uh, purpose ng Panginoon sa ating buhay, uh, our life is uh, based on trust and test. And at the same kahapon, ang napag-aralan natin is life is a temporary assignment. So, dito we are only a pilgrim here on earth and kumbaga, uh, here on earth, our life here is a training grad in preparation for our life through eternity with the Lord. So, napakaganda, di po ba? So, alam niyo po may kwento na yung kwento na to I, I hope na siguro naririnig nyo na or uh, isang uh, kwento lang for the sake na makita natin kung ano yung kahulugan kung bakit tayo uh, nilikha ng Panginoon. So, ito yung story na uh, parang may relate, related lang po sa ating uh, pag-aaralat ngayon na mayroon daw isang probinsyanong lalaki na pumunta sa Maynila. Siyempre, kung probinsyano, di po ba maraming mga bagay na hindi niya alam. And at the same time, dahil probinsyano siya at uh, alam naman natin pag ang kahirapan, minsan ito'y nakahadlang sa pag-aaral. Kaya nung pumunta doon sa isang pabilya na mayaman, sabi daw yung kanyang amo, sabi niya, Uh, iho lahat ng mga mga lalagyan dito sa banyo, sa uh, CR at sa lahat uh, salukan mo ng tubig so dahil uh, napaka bait itong uh, binatilyo na to at napakasipag talaga at dahil bago-bago siyang bago-bago siyang salta sa Maynila syempre sinunod niya lahat ng ginawa ng kanya, uh, utos ng kanyang amo. So, for the, to make the long story short, lahat, nasalukan niya lahat. 
Kinain niya lahat ng tubig. Pero, sabi niya, tinanong niya, tinanong niya yung kanyang amo, Ma'am, lahat ng mga balde, lahat ng mga timba, nasalukan ko na. Pero, isa lang yung hindi ko mapuno-puno, sabi niya. Alin ba doon? Sabi na yung kanyang amo. Yun po, ma'am. Tapos, uh, tinignan niya, tinuro niya yung inidoro sa CR. So, dahil hindi niya hindi niya talaga alam kung ano yung gamit noon dahil bago-bago ba siya kasi sa probinsya wala siyang gamit na ganun so parang hindi niya na alam kung ano talaga yung gamit ng inidoro or yung uh, kubeta kaya sometimes in our lives dahil sa ignorance natin hindi natin alam hindi natin alam kung ano talaga yung layunin ng ating buhay kagaya din ng uh, binatilyo na to dahil hindi siya uh, hindi siya nabigyan ng instruction at hindi siya napag-aralan yun o hin wala, siya, wala siyang kaalam-alam so uh, parang nawala siya doon sa uh, tama na uh, kahulugan o gamit ng CR so yun po sometimes uh, our life is just like that kapag hindi natin alam kung ano yung layunin natin. So, ang pag-aralan natin ngayon is the reason for everything. Sinabi dito sa Romans uh, 11.38, Everything comes from God alone. Everything lives by His power. And everything is for His glory. So, before we start, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O God. Truly, indeed, that you are an awesome God, worthy of praise, worthy of honor. Today, Father, as we open our hearts, our mind, please uh, open us, our hearts, with, with your love, with your mercy and grace, so that we will receive your word of truth with joy, with peace in our hearts. So today, Father, as we commit to you our uh, daily morning devotion, please be the one to speak unto our hearts, because apart from you, we are nothing but in your glorious presence. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So empower us with your Holy Spirit. So to you alone we give our highest praise, highest honor, and thanksgiving. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. So dito sa text natin that uh, even in Proverbs 16.4, the Lord has made everything for His own purpose. So ano nga ba yung ultimate goal natin? Why we were being created? So, ang pinaka-greatest ulti and ultimate uh, goal natin as a creation, as human being created in the image of God, is to give glory to our Creator. So, how can we, how can we glorify God? So, sinabi dito, living for God's glory is the greatest achievement we can accomplish with our lives. So, una, we, we should recognize His glory. Second, honor His glory. We declare God's glory. We praise His glory. Reflect His glory. And live for His glory. So, dito makikita natin na our ultimate uh, purpose dito sa mundong ibaba why we were still uh, here on earth is to glorify God in everything that He has done in our lives and what He's still doing in our lives. Kagaya, so there's a reason for everything. So, ang tanong nyo siguro, paano yung asawa ko ba talagang planado, pla Uh, aligned doon sa plan ni God nung hindi ko pa siya uh, nakilala as my personal Lord and Savior. Natanong nyo ba yung ganun, mga kapatid? Or, tama ba itong pinaglag, tama ba itong uh, naging uh, trabaho ko ngayon? Dito ba talaga yung uh, talagang calling ko sa aking, sa aking Panginoon? Or, ito ba talaga yung reason why I am here? So, Marami tayong mga katanungan na sometimes we cannot find the, the answer. But if we, really, if we really put our trust and confidence to our Lord Jesus Christ and everything we do and everything we say and think as we glorify our, our God, makikita natin na our purpose here on earth 
is to glorify His holy name. So, how can I bring glory to God? Sinabi dun sa John 17, 4, sabi, Jesus told the Father, I brought glory to you here on earth by doing everything you told me to do. So, dito, ito yung prayer, prayer ni, ni Lord Jesus Christ to the Father God. So, sinabi niya, I brought glory to you here on earth by doing everything you told me to do. So, dito makikita natin yung uh, total submission ni Jesus Christ to our Heavenly Father. And at the same time, makita natin yung uh, total obedience niya sa lahat ng mga uh, pinagawa o inutos ng Panginoong Ama sa kanyang bugtong na anak. So, dito makikita natin na una, how can we bring glory to God? Una, we bring glory to God by worshiping Him. So, paano natin i-worship si God? Is it only through Sundays na nandun tayo worshiping, singing songs? Ang, ang gusto, gustong tukuyin dito ni Pastor Rick Warren is our, sh our worship should be motivated by love, thanksgiving, and delight, and not, uh, not a force of duty or an obligation. So, dito nag-originate nag o kumbaga, our worship comes up deep inside in our hearts because as we acknowledge that God is the ultimate source of everything that we have, He, we, he is the reason why we are here on earth. So, dito natin na we will worship Him out of love because He first loved us. So, di ba sabi dun sa Romans 5.8 that before we are sinners, God died for us. Jesus Christ died for us because of His great love. Since we are still, before we are still sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. So, dito makikita natin na it all comes from the love of God. So, dito makikita na, as we worship God, we will be, our, we will be motivated. Yung, yung motivation natin ay nanggagaling sa pag-ibig, nandun yung pag, uh, pagpapasalamat, yung pusong mapagpasalamat, and at the same time, we delight, we delight in the Lord. And worship, gawin natin itong isang, isang, hindi lang isang beses, isang uh, uh, linggo na kung tayo nagtipon-tipon, kundi it's, let make it worship, let, let us make it a lifetime, lifestyle, enjoying the presence of God in our lives, loving Him, giving ourselves to be used for His purposes, and when we use our lives for God's glory, everything we can do will become an act of worship. So, kagaya ng mga nanay na kagaya ko, kung nagluluto ka, you make it in a way na you are doing it, just like doing it for the Lord, just as an act of worship, or even or naglalaba ka, or nag, uh, ano man yung trabaho mo, or whatsoever na ginagawa mo through the out of the day, ma, 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 ilalagay mo lagi na Nandito ka for a divine purpose. You are living because of a divine purpose. And nagising ka with a good health. It's all because of the grace of God upon your life. And then, kapag, kapag in-acknowledge mo lahat yon, na lahat ng mga nangyayari sa buhay mo, lahat ng meron ka sa buhay mo, it all comes from God. At magkakaroon ka ng inner... Uh, inner gratitude of your heart kaya ito yung mag magiging sabihin mo so Lord thank you so much dahil gigising mo muli ako with a blessed hope with a new hope, a new life and a new beginning so dito is already an act of worship and secondly how can we glorify God? how can we bring glory to God? pangalawa is by loving other believers so dito makikita din natin na uh it's also uh, it's also a must or it's also a kumbaga it's it's very encouraging to be a part of a Christian community. So dito sa CSCC uh, family dito makikita mo yung sense of belongingness. So uh, being in a part of God's family makikita mo yung expression of God God's love through your through your mga uh, uh, 
kapwa na believers, kapwa na mga kapatiran, and at the same time, nagkakaroon kayo ng uh, encouragement with one another. So, di po ba na uh, sabi yan, no man is an island, at lahat po tayo really need each other. Encouragement, moral support, prayers, at encourage, uh, lahat ng mga uh, spiritual encouragement and spiritual nourishment na ma marireceive po natin it's all about what God is doing in us and how could we also bring glory to God in everything that we do as we show our love to each other. So, mga kapatid, I encourage you kung wala pa kayong mga uh, community, church community na you haven't yet belong yet, I encourage you to find one nearest into your home, nearest to your house, nearest to your locality wherein you can be... Uh, uh, can be a part of God's family and you can also express the kind or experience the kind of love that we can receive from God through the people or through our uh, kapwa na believers or kapatiran. So, uh, sinabi doon sa Rom Romans 15.7, Paul said, accept each other just as Christ has accepted you, then God will be glorified. So, nandito yung uh, acceptance with each other, kung uh, sino man yung diba, we have different uh, we are being created uniquely in the eyes of God and we are different, we have different characteristics, different behaviors kaya nakakaroon tayo ng variance or uh, kumbaga uh, different uh different, uh, co uh, hindi naman culture, uh, different upbringing, kumbaga. So, nagkakaroon tayo, we learn from each other, we encourage from each other, and sometimes, uh, magiging uh, ano sila sa atin, kumbaga, they are part of our our Christian life for us to be strengthened in our faith and at the same time, to be a part also in our spiritual journey kasama natin ang Panginoon. So, Ano pa yung mga pangatlong ano, how could we bring worship, bring glory to God? Pangatlo po is, we can bring God glory by becoming like Christ. So, once we are born in God's family, He wants us to grow to spiritual maturity. So, mga kapatid, kumusta naman ang ating spiritual life? Nag-grow ba tayo spiritually or uh, naging stagnant tayo? or, or pag ganun-ganun lang siya. So, ina-encourage ko po kayo na sometimes God allow trials, di ba, sa previous lessons that and life is like a test. Sometimes, marami tayong mga trials, pagsubok sa buhay, pero alalahanin natin, mga kapatid, that sometimes God allow those trials, those temptations in our lives for us to grow more spiritually or, kumbaga, our level of maturity with the Lord will grow deeper and at the same time magkakaroon tayo ng uh, magkakaroon tayo yung motivation natin is we are doing this be because be uh, we acknowledge that uh, everything that uh, happened in our lives there's a divine purpose and at the same time the motivation of our uh, our life existence here on earth is all about the love of God in our lives. So, huwag yung hayaan kapatid na man, manlupaypay kayo o manghihina kayo sa yung spiritual life. Continue to hold on to the promises of God dahil God never uh, leave you nor forsake you. Maraming mga promises wherein you can be strengthened at lalong lalo na na patuloy tayo na we, we reflect Christ likeness in our lives. So, yun po yung pangatlong uh, reason why we give glory to God. As in having as a second Corinthians uh, chapter 3 verse 18 as the spirit of the Lord works within us we become more and more like Jesus and reflect his glory even more so di po ba napaganda alam niyo ba yung story ng uh, caterpillar to become a butterfly di ba nag-umpisa muna yung is isang uod yung caterpillar and at the same time nagkakaroon siya ng cocoon di po ba napaka dark moment yung kukod doon kasi yung kukod talagang ma makukulob doon yung uod which will become a caterpillar and after the caterpillar it will become a beautiful butterfly so same true our spiritual life sometimes diba daantay sa mga trials mga pagsubok in our darkest moments of our life sometimes yun yung time na God will uh, will visit us God will uh, do yung uh, spiritual in 
encounter natin kay Jesus Christ na dito natin during our darkest moment mararanasan natin the love of God in our lives so patuloy lang tayo this is the uh, process of transformation in our lives or sanctification in our lives kasi gusto ng Panginoon we reflect Christ likeness in our lives so during our transformation during our sanctification we are being renewed day by day diba si Dabi dun sa Romans 12 too, that we should not conform anymore at the patterns of this world but be transformed with the renewing of our minds so that we will know that God's will is good pleasing and perfect so yun po mga kapatid just put inculcate in our mind put in our hearts the Sometimes God allow trials, temptations, problems, challenges in our lives for us to grow spiritually with our uh, journey with the Lord. And fourth, we can bring glory to God by serving others with our gifts. So lahat naman po tayo, I believe by faith naman po tayo, when we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior in our lives, we were being empowered with the Holy Spirit. And as we receive or baptized by the power of the Holy Spirit, we have been uh, given or bestowed different spiritual gifts. So kung ang gift mo uh, kapatid ay magaling kang umawit in a secular way gamitin mo yun to worship God through your uh, talent in singing kung ikaw man ay magaling sa chismis oh, oh gamitin mo naman yun lahat naman po tayo kung gumagawa ka ng marites gawin mo yun abag ma marites ka you will do it in a way na magulugod ang Panginoon so, ang, ang, ang ikukwento mo na sa mga kumare mo, ang latest mo, ano yung ginawa ng Panginoon sa buhay mo? Di po ba? Anong ginawa ng Panginoon sa marriage uh, life mo, sa family mo? Di po ba? Malaking bagay ito as a your living testimony to show others that we have a loving God, a powerful God, a mighty God, a miracle working God in our lives. So, dito makikita natin, as we serve others, and a community with our spiritual gifts, we can bring honor and glory to God. Kung uh, ang gift mo naman is encouraging, try, continue to encourage other uh, believers or other unbelievers to know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior in their lives. Kung ang gift mo naman, kapatid, is uh, you, if it's giving, so give it cheerfully and give it without reluctance. For sabi nga, uh, God loves a cheerful giver. So we are being entrusted with many gifts, resources, so that we can use it for the divine purpose of bringing glory to God through our spiritual gifts. So sinabi nga dito sa... So, 1 Peter uh, chapter 4, verse 10 to 11, sinabi dito, God has given gifts to each of you from His great variety of spiritual gifts. Manage them well so that God's generosity can flow through you. Are you called to help others? Do it with all your strength and energy that God supplies. Then, God will be given glory. So, yun po mga kapatid, huwag natin sayangin lahat ng mga binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. I do believe by faith, lahat naman po tayo, we are being created in a different ways, we are being gifted in different ways, so we should use it all for the glory of God and for His honor and praises, to give, bring honor and praises to His holy name. So, faith, how can we bring glory to God? We can bring glory by telling others about Him. So, dito, uh, it falls on na dito yung Great Commission. So, ano nga ba yung Great Commission? Ito yung um, uh, makikita sa Matthew 28:19 to 20 which sinabi doon na All authority from heaven and earth have given to me. Go therefore and make disciples among all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey every commandment. And surely, I'll be with you at the very end of age. So, dito, bawat believers, we have this mandate from our Lord Jesus Christ to share the gospel of salvation. So, ang tanong naman, eh ate, hindi naman ako nag-aral ng Bible school. Eh ate, wala naman po akong uh, uh, kaalam-alam sa Bible. Hindi ko naman alam lahat. 
alam nyo mga kapatid, sometimes ito yung nagiging hadlang. Sometimes ito yung uh, ginagamit ng enemy for us to hinder us to share the uh, uh, how God has uh, done for us or to share that love of God. Alam nyo po, lahat naman po tayo ay uh, walang kakayanan, walang karunong kaalaman. When, but, on the other hand, Kung alam mo kapatid kung paano ka binago ng Panginoon, yung life testimony is a, a great encouragement sa mga unbelievers. Kung paano ka binago ng Panginoon, kung paano ka uh, binago araw-araw, kung paano mo na-overcome lahat yung trial, trials and challenges sa yung buhay, kung paano mo napagtagumpayan kapatid, ano man yung problema mo na, na nilagay ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. This is one way of sharing the love of God to others. So, lahat naman po tayo, we are, kaya nga nandito tayo to read uh, the word of God. So, I, hindi, hindi ko naman sinabi na, na, na it's not, uh, hindi na kailangan na mag-aral, hindi na kailangan na, kailangan natin uh, pakigan yung mga salita ng Panginoon o basahin ang salita ng Panginoon. If, it's really a part and parcel of our lives because learning learning is a lifestyle o kumbaga it's a lifestyle para sa atin na kailangan din natin pag-aralan at i-apply ang salita ng Panginoon sa ating buhay araw-araw and it's good kapatid if you have that Bible to read every day pray every day and at the same time to hear the word of God every day and alam ko na if we, we hear we learn we, we and we apply it every day of our lives alam ko it will be a, a great blessing for us to also bless others to share that uh, gospel of salvation and to share the love of God to others sinabi nga sa 2 Corinthians 4.15 as God's grace bring more and more people to Christ God will receive more and more glory so di po ba sinabi nga uh, sinabi nga yung isang uh, sheep na nawawala sabi nga di ba sa good shepherd good shepherd is the uh, Lord Jesus Christ is the good shepherd uh, di ba may, may uh, halintulad o parabola ng 90 na 100 sheep yung 99 ay yung isang tupa ay nawawala anong ginawa ng good shepherd di ba hinanap niya yung isang tupa na nawawala so parang ganun din po tayo we really need also to uh, uh, to be a part of the Great Commission as we uh, share the Word of God, share the Gospel of Salvation that they may come to know uh, and accept this year in their lives. So, uh, ayun po, so Yun po yung mga libang how can, uh, five ways how to give glory to God and what will you live for? Ano nga ba for the rest of your life? Ano nga ba? Why? Why we are still here on earth? Sinabi doon sa John 12, 27, 28, My soul has become troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose, I came to this hour. Father, glorify thy name. So, ito yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ when the time talaga na uh, before na mapako siya sa cross, sabi ka, di po ba, na uh, let thy will be done. Father, let thy will be done. So, iyon pa rin po ba yung uh, sinasabi ng puso natin? Let your will be done, Lord, in our lives, in, in times of trials, in times of testings, in times of challenges in our lives. Do we still say, Lord, let thy will be done in our lives? So, sinabi din doon sa John 12, 25, anyone who holds on to life, just as it destroys that life, but if you let it go, you will have it forever, real and eternal. So, dito sinabi, real life begins by committing yourself completely to Jesus Christ. Kapatid, ang tanong, have you committed your life to the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Kung ito, kapatid, papakinggan mo itong mensahe na to or mayroong kang kakilala na hindi pa niya uh, nakilala o nasumpungan ang Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanyang buhay. 
Do you have that courage? Do you have that passion? Do you have that love of our Lord Jesus Christ to share also that gospel of salvation to your friend, to your family members, to your co-workers, or whoever that God puts in your life? Or ikaw mismo kapatid, have you really accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Kung ngayon sinasabi ng puso mo, handa, mo, handa, ka, ka, na, handa ka na na isuko ang buong buhay mo sa Kanya, handa ka na ikumit ang iyong buong buhay sa Kanya, kapatid, the right time is now. Today is the day of your salvation. So today, Kung talagang uh, disidido ka na, kapatid, let us pray. Father God in heaven, we glorify your name, we magnify your name, O oh God. I believe that I am a sinner and I'm here humbling down before you, asking for your total forgiveness of all my sins in words, in thoughts, and in deeds. I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for me, resurrected from the dead, and to prepare a place for me in heaven. Today, I open my heart to receive you as my Lord and Savior over my life. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. So today, Father, I allow you the power of your Holy Spirit to work in me and through me as I bring glory and honor to your name. Thank you for your love, your grace, and mercy that sustains me every day. To you alone I give my highest praise, highest honor, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Kung yun ay ginawa mong isang personal prayer to God, I congratulate you kapatid, welcome to the family of God. At kung hindi man ikaw kapatid mayroon kang uh, burden or gusto mong i-share that uh, love of God try kapatid just try it as you allow the power of the Holy Spirit to help you to uh, give you that courage and that boldness to share the love of God to others. At dito makikita natin na Jesus will give you everything you need to live for Him. So, ano nga ba? What, are the, what is the point to ponder here? It's all for Him. It's all about Jesus Christ. So, ano yung life memory verse natin? Makikita sa Romans 11.36 for everything comes from God alone. Everything lives by His power and everything is for His glory. So, dito makita natin na ang unang tanong natin, where in my daily routine can I become more aware of God's glory? So, I do believe by faith, mga kapatid, that the Lord will speak unto your hearts and I know that the power of His Spirit will empower you to be blessed and be a blessing to others. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O oh God. We thank you for your word that we have uh, received today. Please inculcate in our hearts, in our minds, that we will apply it every day of our lives. We thank you because you have created us for a divine purpose according to your will and plans in our lives help us with the power of your holy spirit that we will walk in the path of your righteousness i pray for all the parents who are here today continue to empower them with the holy spirit strengthen their faith in you continue all also father to bless every areas and aspect of their lives, especially the working parents. Continue to bless their works of their hands and be blessed and be a blessing to their family, to their children. We pray also for marriage lives, 
especially broken marriages, broken homes, broken families. I pray continue to restore and reconcile each and every relationship. We believe by faith that you are a God of reconciliation and restoration. As you said in your word in Matthew 19.6, whatever you have joined together, let no man separate. There is a reason for everything in our lives here on earth, Father. So we do believe by faith as we continue to lift up unto you all the children, the youth, and all the teenagers. We pray, Father, the young adults too, Father. We pray for them. Continue to protect them from any scheme of the enemy. Strengthen their faith in you. Continue to open their hearts, minds, spiritually, that they may grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray also for all the teachers. Continue to bless them every age and aspect of their lives as they will continue to educate all the students, the children, that they will also have the align with your plans and purpose in their lives. And even we pray for all the churches, church leaders, pastors, the evangelists, the apostles, the prophets. I pray, Father, continue to bless every age and aspect of their lives. Continue to provide all their needs, especially this month of pastor's month. I pray, Father, continue to anoint them mightily with the double portion of your anointing that comes from your throne. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for being uh, shepherding us as their flock. We thank you and continue to bless their families, their ministries, and even, Lord, the desires of their heart. Continue to bless them. And even, Lord, we pray for every government officials from the highest to the lowest uh, positions in every uh, barangay and every locality and ev all throughout the Philippines and globally. I pray, Father, give them also the pow empowerment of the Holy Spirit that they will have that reverential fear unto you, that they will govern your people with love, joy, peace, and righteousness. We thank you for their lives and even, Lord, we pray sa lahat ng mga public and private se sectors of God, the employees, employers, we pray, Father, continue to bless them too. I pray na patuloy mo sila patatagin ang kanilang pananampalataya as they will continue to be blessed and be a blessing to others. And unto the economy of our country, continue to bless, Father. And even we acknowledge that you are Jehovah Jireh. Our God will supply all our needs according to our Glory to according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. We pray for all uh, OFWs who are working abroad. I pray for your divine mercy and protection be upon them. We pray that you will continue to strengthen their faith in you. And I pray that you will continue to bless them every areas and aspect of their lives, especially in times of pains and sufferings, continue to comfort them, continue to help them, Lord, continue to empower them, Father, that they will find comfort and peace, joy from you. We thank you, Father, for this day. Continue to bless lahat ng aking mga kapatiran, lahat ng nakikinig sa devotion na to. Continue to bless them kasama ang kanilang buong sambayanan. We pray, Father, as you continue to guide us and lead us to the right path of your righteousness. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, because apart from you, we are nothing. But in your glorious presence, we can do all things through Christ to strengthen us. So today, Father, we thank you for what you've done and you are still doing upon our lives. And to you alone, we give our highest praises, honor, and thanksgiving in the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. Amen and Amen. So, uh, have a blessed day, mga kapatid. Thank you. We love you with the love of the Lord. Bye. Have a blessed day.